Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it might be back. I think we're all right. Hello? Hello? <laughs> well done, OBS. Well, well done. <laughs> Christ's sake. <sighs> Bloody thing. Right. Oh god, the safety car's up there. Quick! Oh god, we're gonna spin on the formation lap! <laughs> hey Kieran, welcome back. Trying to process for the game instead of letting the game. Yeah, I I don't know what OBS is up to today. It it is having a nightmare. Do I do I? You know what, chat? Okay, look, I'm going to give you lot the option: full formation lap or not. Up to you. Not okay. One for not. Nah, nah, do it. Not. Full formation lap. <laughs> Might have known you bloody would. <laughs> nah. No, okay. I think I think I'm seeing a uh, seeing a trend here. Oh, piss. Well oh, focus on the game now. There we go. Ferrari die? Oh, that felt hairy. <laughs> Have a look when we get on the when we get on the, the Molsan I'll I'll do a replay. OBS again. I think we, we have, we've officially had an AI moment. We've officially had an AI moment that was really not so good. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, AI is too realistic. That might need a bit, a bit of recording there. <laughs> That's, um... That's not so good. Yeah, but be very... Oh, little, God. Like driving, you know, in the trousers all the time. Oh, boy. 
Levitius coming in with the raid. Thank you, Levitius. Welcome. Welcome along, everyone. Hope you're all having fun doing whatever you're doing. Welcome to me doing a, a race that I said I wasn't going to do at Le Mans. 72 minutes at Le Mans. That's had a, an enormous AI crash at the start. Uh, <laughs> not even the start. The formation. <laughs> I don't know why. I like I didn't have that yesterday at all. So that's a new one for me. That was very broken. But the problem is that the AI is racing position versus lower classes, so it's battling them like it's battling lower classes. I don't. Know, yeah, I don't know why it was battling lower classes because they're all. I don't know. I need to. Well, I would look at the replay, like the, the full replay again, if I could. But the Mon Two, nice, nice. Hope you had fun, man. Hope you had fun. Artificial intelligence. Yellow caddy can't catch a break. Nah. No breaks for the yellow caddy at all. Not allowed. Snappy beast. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Goo. Quite a, quite a great day at Le Mans today. No! Yeah, burn that left front. That's the way, that's the smart way to do it, right? Sim decreased the rotation as much as other Sims? Oh. Hmm. I'd need to, I suppose, back to back that again, really. Um, oh, it's a bit ropey here. Oh, God, I could feel it being a bit stuttery there. Ugh. Oh god, yeah, 40, 50, 60 again, alright. That wasn't ideal. Ah, it's too quick for the king, really. Ferrari behind looking rather fast. Yeah, there's still there's still some performance stuff at them on, but on my at least on this hard drive, genuine not a hard drive, on the M.2 it's better than it was yesterday. It's still a little bit ropey though. Because the thing is, it would be it it wouldn't be so bad if it was like a if it felt like a smooth drop down, but like that was that felt a bit jarring when it went down to fifty just down to fifty five. It was a bit jarring. Oh god, that was way late. Bloody hell. Uh, 45, there you go. Mess. God damn it. As if it doesn't really affect rotation as much, then you can potentially just run one gear up on cold tyres to offset. Yeah, yeah, shoot. Glick's alright, I drove it last night, it's a decent, decent car. Glick. I had a blast here too, I knew the quality improved the stability. Yeah, I, it's one thing I didn't do was bring down, because at Le Mans I bring in down my um, my texture quality and track detail. I've left those at high still, now that I think about it. But I couldn't have done that yesterday at all. It's amazing, like, the, the, the difference between switching from the mechanical hard drive to the, the M.2. Has made. Priority very loose on the front. I'll be honest, Taylor. I think most of them have got a bit of that going on. They're all a little bit, um, at least the cars I've driven, anyway. Much too quick. At least the cars I've driven, they've been a bit, um, they've all been a bit snappy on the throttle.
but I've mostly driven at, Se at Sebring, to be honest. <laughs> Sebring sort of it encourages it almost with the way some of those corner exits are. Uh, stock setup, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, I think it's based on stock, isn't it? I think the only thing I change is maybe brake ducts. Um, beyond that, pretty much stock, I think. Oh, I feel the weight of the thing through here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I may have done, actually, yeah. Yeah, brake bias, I think you're right. Yeah, performance down into the pit straight is a bit... It's struggling a bit. Quarters again. 7 Oh my god, he's diving Jesus Okay Right Have fun, Kieran I <laughs> I, I just got demolished I'm glad I saw it coming. I'm done driving for today. Totally done. Totally done driving. Have some of that. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? How do you like that? <laughs> yes, Vane. Yes. Exactly. Set any AI aggression to match it? No, it's no, it's still on 50. Because honestly, I, I haven't seen a reason to turn it up from where it is. Just wait until they learn how to flash. <laughs> they bloody do that at AMS2. Annoying twat. <laughs> But I might, I, might, I might play around with the aggression. It's just to see like, what difference it makes. I know in RF2 it was it was quite dramatic. To that for a challenge, I was suggesting to see how much carnage you create. <laughs> Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, no, I'll try it out at some point. I don't know about today necessarily, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm curious to see how much difference it makes in general. Stop overloading the front, you idiot! Oh, just sort of snagged it over the curb. Only we could see where the van was not in this race. It's been replaced by a third Toyota for some reason. It was only 50% aggression on Max, I bet you it was car and a fist fight. So I'd say in general that AI is... I mean, granted, I was driving the... Per I don't know how much difference make driving the Peugeot at the Sebring makes, but... AI seems a little bit... Oh, God. A little bit slower around here. That's not... A okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sure. Max 
Max AI or whatever. I think it's 100 I'm on. The AI here seems to be a little bit slower than they were at Sebring. I'd say, though. That was my feeling last night as well. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> Three red lights above the HUD for? Uh, oh! I'm looking for bloody <laughs> lights above the HUD! <laughs> Please go away. Thank you. There we go. Where to? <laughs> Which ones? Oh yeah, they're red lights, yeah. Those ones there, yeah, they're red lights. Look, I gave all the time back and then some. Hey. Oh, that curve is vicious. Yeah, the wind, the wind noise is a bit much in this thing at these speeds. Eighty seconds to the back of the GT pack. I've not got to the GT car so far in anything I've done, Randy. Ah, too wide. Too much. Left front is streaming, help me. Yeah, it hates it. Especially when I drive. I drive so much on the front end of the core thing. I push it into corners too much. But anyone that's seen me drive will know that. <laughs> uh, lean on the front far too much. Oh. And then it creates moments like that where I've taken too much speed in. That's legal. Alright, that's fine. I said to buy this now, even though I'm not going to drive it because in the release thing it says it's going to be gradually increasing price. Yeah, I get you, man. I get you. Yeah, it'll be the cheapest it'll be now. Actually, I'll try that next time through. Pulling away? Again? The only, the only thing to keep in mind with that, is obviously, is, is if it's... I mean, sometimes Steam is quite good with it. Obviously, the refund window is, what, two hours, two weeks, isn't it? Like, two hours of game time in two weeks. There have been times when they've been quite friendly on certain refunds. So, like, if you were to, say, get it, not enjoy what you've got, and then want to refund it, you could just, you know, you could have issues if you want to refund it or anything. But it's the only thing to keep in mind. You know what I miss most at a more sand corner? In a prototype of them on, it's the hybrid, like the the, the thousand horsepower hybrid, kicking in out of more certain corner, hitting 300 k's in no time at all. Oh, I do miss it. Here we 
care about getting a refund, I'll probably get it anyway at some point. I'm just 100% going to drive for longer than two hours to get my free Yeah, yeah I get you. That's fair enough, really. Oh. Rear end was moving around on turn in there, the initial turn in. Stop hitting that curb. But I'm, I'm still driving like it's the eye racing curb that you can just drive all over. Which you can't in this. Hey, Silo Wing. I'm, I'm really enjoying them, um, Solo Wing, honestly. Tough. They're, they're very tricky. They're the hypercars. Very tricky cars. Um, pushing all over the place. I don't know. I, I suppose I'd have to try the LMP2 just to see how it compares. I've not driven that yet at all. I've only driven the hypercars. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Alloy. Oh, done that again. Feel that. Enjoy myself. Yeah, I'm enjoying enjoying the game. I'm getting a bit tired now, but I did a two-hour race at Sebring earlier. Did a lot of driving yesterday. <laughs> a lot of driving yesterday. But I've I've enjoyed what I've played so far. AI's been pretty solid outside of... In fairness, we, we had a pretty shocking moment for him here on the formation lap, which was curious, because I hadn't seen that up to this point, where they managed to have a big old crash. Didn't really get to see how it... Oh, no, we did actually, didn't we? Yeah, Ferrari went across the full chicane. And, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a clip somewhere. But I'm very much enjoying what I'm driving. I've enjoyed the racing I've done with it so far. Lap six. Right. <laughs> so I missed you with that suit wheel. Maybe. But yeah, genuinely, I'm, I'm enjoying my driving experience. Cars are tricky. The hypercars, I should say, very specifically. The hypercars are tricky machines. Um, yeah, they, they be tricky. Oh! <laughs> like that! driving great and still sort of pulling away which sort of reinforces what I was saying about AI here. AI here is a bit slower than it is at uh, Sebring. I was nowhere near front running pace at Sebring. Granted that was in a Peugeot and not a Toyota but you know. There's a Toyota running fourth in this race right now, nine seconds off of me. This game have hypercar. That's what I'm in. I'm in a Toyota. I'm in the Toyota GR010. Toyota's Le Mans hypercar. We are pulling away. Watch out when the ground is a flat here. LMDH as well, LMDH is in, yeah. It's all in. Every car that was in WEC last year is in the game. Oh god. Wait, surely. Surely. No, okay. Alright. <laughs> I suppose I was losing time.
Yeah, Vamble's in as well. Yep. For, for better or worse, the Vamble is in. It's a bit of slow down. <laughs> But I lost time, Gibbo. Imagine not getting a slowdown for, you know, losing time. <laughs> in fairness at Le Mans and in iRacing, if you're getting a slowdown at Tert Rouge, you're going too fast. <laughs> I can't deny that. Ivy! Hey, Ivy. Thank you very much for the resub. Back. Oh, no, not that one. That one. 21 months in the world, and thank you, Ivy. It's much appreciated. As always! Any clue what break, mi break migration does? Um, it's... I never remember the exact description, but it's, um... It's something about pushing brake bias forwards or backwards, depending on how much pressure you've got put down on the pedal. I can never remember the, Someone else can probably explain it a lot better than I... I can! Oh, God! Well, you're me and you've just got the inside. Yeah, that too. That too. It's how far north the brakes fly forward. Slows the car down. Come on, now. Come on. <laughs> give, give help for that. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. Grim. That is a grim feeling. It's not good in Indy. Or oh, GT car. The more brake percentage wise, the, the more in said direction it will move the bias. There you go. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, that Porsche had a slide through Corvette. Oh, there goes the performance again a bit. Oh boy, there goes the performance a lot. Porsche, please! I'll give him a flash. Why not? There you go. Have a flash. It was in that moment I realised I wasn't in an LMP1 car, but a hypercar. A fat hypercar. <laughs> if so, you can use the most of the front end grip when you start breaking it full load, but as you tail off, it helps. Okay, gotcha. What am I calling fat? This Toyota. It's a big beastie. Heavy beastie. Here, yeah, Greedy's up to second. He passed Conway. Oh, the pit stops. There will be one in this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be one in this anyway. Oh god! <laughs> the Ferrari was hidden! I'm guessing the Ferrari's quite quick at Le Mans then. There's no pit crew at all, uh, Skronix, at the moment. I mean, whether that'll have change or not, I'd like to see it change. I really would. Like, in, Especially in a, like a... For the single player point of view, I'd, I'd, love, to, I'd love to see a like, functioning pit crew. But... So in the 24? I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't think so at the moment, Charlie. Um, maybe... Uh, maybe once they bring in, like, 
driver swaps with the AI and then driver times and things like that, you'd probably, then you'd um, start getting that, because that stuff is supposed to be on the way. Oh, God. Is having a visual picture working perfectly really? No, that's it. It's not a critical fit, but for immersion, absolutely give me, feed me, or every day of the week. But is it a critical, like, gameplay feature? No, there'll be other stuff they'll be working on before it cruise. Hello, big dog. Hello. Ferrari is having a time. That Ferrari having a nightmare. Yeah, Tyler. That stuff is supposed to be on its way. Yeah. At least certainly that's stuff I've read in the Discord from the dev, so yeah. It's it only this year. Standard GTE hating prototype driver moment there. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oops, just bloody me. Oh yeah, yeah. Quite from Greek. <laughs> <laughs> No, he is not so nah, not really. Mr. Hull can, can deal with it. Just me in the hypercars. <laughs> way early on the brakes. Well, it feels like I'm way early on the brakes, and I try and go later, and it just it hates it. Uh, driving 499p, the Oracle 7 was a breeze to drive around Sebring. I could really for the extra damage. It's interesting, interesting. I'll have to give that thing a go then at some point. Ow. And that's the low downforce by the Orica as well. <laughs> Not even the high downforce man. <laughs> or at least it should be, anyway. Oh. Seven seconds in the lead now. Peugeot still going well, fourth and fifth. I'm assuming Buemi was caught up in the um in the formation lap. Fracar. Got a lot more stable overall. Nice. I think they seem to be doing stuff with the controller, not just the yeah, sure. And I'd like to think that will work towards it ending up being a, maybe at some point in the future, a console release. Maybe. The hypercars are the hypercars can be anything between ten, uh, 1,030 kilograms to 1,090, I believe. Now, from this year onwards, so they they can be real heavy, like for for height, you know, still height downforce cars. They're they're heavy. There's a lot of weight in them. I miss my LMP1 through the Forge Chicane as well. <laughs> I miss my LMP1 everywhere. God damn it. LMP2 in the pit lane. Just one though. What is an Apex? I don't know.
Oh. Oh, we have Pierre Greedy in the pits as well. Really? Okay. Interesting. There was a few pit stops. Yeah, the Peugeot's in as well. Everyone miss watching the LMP1's engine board speed. I know. I know. I'll always be glad that we, even despite the, like, no matter how preposterous and how unrealistic the regulations were from a long-term point of view, I'll always be glad that we got them. Always. That we got that crazy spectacle. And even with the lack of cars, like some of it, we got some proper classic races and duels in that period. With cars that were so wildly different, especially in 2015. With the, like, aero options and the different, like, the vastly different aero and hybrids of the, such a 919 and the R18. So good. This has been a little bit of a, a relative cruise so far. I need to hope ready, but it was something along the lines of accelerating faster than electricity. <laughs> Uh, they were insane, man. I always, I think the one that sticks in my head most still is, is Silverstone 2015. With the Audi in its very, very rarely used high, high downforce kit. Versus the Porsche. Mad. Yeah, you can play with the, the, um, the hybrid stuff. Although, from a performance point of view, it doesn't really make any difference because, you know, obviously it doesn't really add power. It doesn't add performance. It's more of an efficiency thing with these things. Wow, you can take a lot of that. All right. 26. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself, Bilbo. I'm really enjoying myself. This race is a little more lonely, but, um... Oh, God. Got off the throttle a little suddenly through... Turn one. Oh. Could have done that curve. Yeah, it's not even a per lap limit on the hybrid. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't exactly know how the regulations work. Um, Sounds to make they are. The, 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 honestly, the detail in the sound is quite amazing. When you're trying to adjust anything, it's getting a bit unbearable. Have you um have you tried VSync on? Well, firstly, are you on Windows 11, Drew? As a question. Because if not, then. Whoa. Okay, Drew. Oh, God. Okay. I'm sorry, man. That's, uh... Although, I'm glad you've said that, because that may, that may well also bring new perspective to some of the reviews on Steam that are talking about that as well. Maybe they have tried V-Sync, and that's not actually made a difference for them. What, 70 in the menus? Christ. I wonder what it is with Windows 11. I, w I wonder if anyone on Windows 10 is having the same thing. It's looking put together way better than I was expecting it to be, yeah? Like I said, I think the fundamental, this bit of the game, so far, has been pretty solid. I the same on Windows 10, just for a few seconds here and now, okay. That, that sucks. That does suck. Why am I getting lucky? Like, what? what is it? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Are you guys on? Is it on a SSD for you? Or M.2? Or big old SSD? Or is it on a mechanical drive as well? Just to try and sort of cancel or just, you know, tick off checklist things. NVMe got you. Hey, we're going to get this for me, maybe. Got you. In that case, I've run out of things. I don't know, that sucks. The yeah, side switch, honestly, like, my Sebring race was, I mean, those over here, so yeah, Sebring was a great experience in general. I had, like, good two, a good two hours around there. Biggest problem was me. Oh, It hates the Ford chicane, man. It hates it. Absolutely despises the Ford chicane. Don't even have mechanical drives in the game, gotcha. Yeah, I figure most people are probably, unlike me, have, have moved on from uh, mechanical drives fully a while. Like, I've still got a mechanical drive in there, but I've now got another, i got an MVME as well for my games on. So. No fourth gear for it, come on. every now and then which is what it is yeah I'm for me the bit like the biggest issues I've had have been something between OBS and the game or just OBS or I don't know like if I'm if I'm focused on the game for too long the FPS drops and uh, like it stops basically um, and OBS GPU usage goes up into the 90s Yes, I switch, yeah. Still have HDD for storage too, software mostly on SSD though, yeah. It's the way, I think it's sort of the way, at least for me, it's sort of working alright. Oh, boy, that felt quick. No, it's fine. Oh! But PC got a, got a few of them, is this? Ooh! Mostly back of a graphics. On it. Absolutely fair enough. Hopefully they can um, they can resolve some of the like the crashing and performance issues that people have been having, and even for me, honestly, I had a few crashes uh, yesterday. Um, but again, I've I've not had uh, any big problems since moving it onto the M.2. That's been a like a revelation. Yesterday I was getting like three or four hangs at Le Mans per lap, which was really bugging me a lot, strangely. I was still getting the old one at Sebring as well, but... Alright. Very extensive, just a matter of 3972, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good post to have. It's a good post to have. And I, I, was, I was saying I was saying earlier, uh, Leaf East, um, if they have a way of like getting that information into the game as well, because there'll still be people that won't read it. They'll they'll, they'll blitz past the known issues of an early access title. Um, I try and get that fed into the game, like as a pop up when you open it, if possible. Look, this is what we know is wrong. Please read it. You can't force people, obviously, but... If you make all that stuff as visible as possible... Then... Uh, you know, what, what else can you really do? There goes... Yeah, see, there goes... It's down in the 40s again, though. But then, there's a load of cars in the pit lane. The performance drop with a load of cars in the pit lane, there. Oh, God, no. 
Come on, lap 30. It's going to lap 16. Bloody hell. That's a long run. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got that. Actually, although I say that, me face today, again, since put it on the M.2, I've not had to hit the FFB reset button. On the mechanical drive, I was having to do it a lot. But on the M.2, I've not had to touch it once. It's so strange. Like, I don't know, my, my M.2 is like a, a miracle cure or something, but... That'll go down well with players from other Sims. Uh huh. Yeah. Honestly, when I, when I got it first time yesterday, I was like, oh, "You're kidding me! This can't still be an issue, please." Oh dear. It was always one of my big bits of advice for people: map your four street back reset button because you're going to need it at some point. Sometimes regularly, sometimes not. Have TTS shake the disclaimers it plays as well. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Get in. Oh, bugger it. I'm gonna come in now. Why not? Everyone else is pitting. Porsches are so far behind. And they haven't pitted yet. This is I this looks quite nice now. Feels quite atmospheric, quite immersive right now. It's light level. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> Way early. Alright, that's fine. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Joe, headless Joe with the five gift subs. Thank you, Joe. Okay, it's a coin. Coin getting subbed. Yeah, have that bitch. <laughs> Craig H, Dylan Horton, Cooper, and Casual Two Head. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Oh. Mr. Generous strikes again. Hmm. He's a good man, is Joe. Ah, Porsche's in as well. Well, one of them, anyway. There go the LMP2s. Yeah, all the Porsches are in. Alright, ready. Caddies are in. Performance ropey. 30s. In the 30s. Ouch. Oof. He got into his pit stall? <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Oh wow, Conway gained on through all that. Look at that. Mike Conway's right there. Yeah. 
MP2 noises, yeah. Lots of them. Nope. No idea. No idea. All I've done is that I just... That I take the game out of focus and it's fine. Bring the game back into focus and give it a few seconds and it'll crap itself again. OBS will, like, really kick off. It's so strange. He's having all sorts of problems as well. Huh. Yeah, o OBS... I can't remember if you saw, like, OBS was going up into the 90s on GPU usage. I need a Twitch or YouTube. Oh, because he's trying to do, like, both, isn't he? Depending on which, which one he focuses on. Well, he needs to focus on... Oh, 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 no, of course, yeah. I'm sorry, that's, that shouldn't laugh, but that's, that's so silly. Oh, no. Oh, Christ's sake. Oh, God. No! Conway, go away! No! Stop it! No! He wants to go left! Why are you going left? You could have gone right. I don't trust I'm not going to get turned here. I'm gonna, just going to give him a little bit of spare. Okay, No, 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 no. Come away. Piss off. Is playing ball now? Well, hopefully. Hopefully it will keep playing ball. No. No. I flash you. This is smart. Piss. Oh. <laughs> oh, performance, please. Where's this speed come from? He wasn't this quick before the pit stops. But he's suddenly like rapid. Oh no. Mikey boy, you ruined it. You s Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, they struggled a little bit there with the traffic. The AI. That's how it works, right? Goddamn right it does. More flashes, come on. Oh. Vexy rolled high on the intimidation check. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now the lights have sort of come on around the circuit. There's a general little performance drop. 55 at best down here. This is my first time in the sort of with the track lights on around here. Oh god, here we go, 40s. Okay! 
thirties. <laughs> oh, Mikey boys. <laughs> Bloody LMP2, go away. No. <laughs> Please come back. Please come back. Curb. This is running off the ACC. No, it's um the RF. It's RF2. Essentially, RF2 is the basis. Oh God! Come on, hypercar punch! ACC is on a Unreal 4, isn't it, I think? dramatic at all there's not a crazy there's not a crazy race going on here no oh man ah. <laughs> please 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 thank you you saw me coming very good oh they get him finding his way through as well oh this is great Oh, a bit too deep. All right, bottom of the Oh. No, piss. Not again. Did the heart Idiot. Oh, Mikey boy! <laughs> Fair no. I thought he was going to go for that for a moment. All the GTE doing GTE things up the inside. <laughs> no, that's a smooth stream, Jimmy. What's, is he still? Is he still having issues? Killed somebody. He's killed him. He's absolutely killed the LMP2. That wasn't so good. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> no, don't celebrate too soon. There's still time for me to screw this up. I'd like to know what emerged. 
that was like an iRacing race. The rejoin, the, the, the prototype. Oh dear. Funny you say that, Matster. I just had a really good battle with with um. We we just had AI like in a little microcosm just then. Um. Oh, another yellow flag. Things are happening. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Not much positive is happening there, I'll be honest. I think there's a there might be a little issue with AI aggression from the like prototypes at Tete Rouge. Because obviously we saw Conway nearly kill a GT car there, and then Conway quite right, killed a P2 into the play in the Porsche curve as well. Wanna see a Toyota 2016 moment? No! It's enough that Conway went and killed the buddy P2. So he straight did, he killed himself, sure. We had a fairly bonkers re couple of rejoins at Ted Rouge as well. Jimmy's having loads of issues. Oh, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Uh, this race has got 61 AI in it. Or had. I don't know if there's still 61 going round, but there were 61 at the start. Ooh. Okay. Conway's up the second already. <laughs> Past the Persia like it was standing still. Touch the grass! No! Escape road, escape road! Rear end's getting, uh... Oh, sorry, Corvette! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's a rejoin. <laughs> I've done the rejoin now. Christ almighty, what a silly race. Pit stops in that two hour race, they did okay. I think there was a there was a bunch that did like a two stop strategy and some that did a one. Uh the one one just. But the, the, the one was absolutely the way to go. Oh, I was back in the day, A double is it? Welcome. Welcome. Oh god. Yeah, been over here for um like Christ. It's coming up towards three, three years this summer. Three years this summer. Oh. On and off, you know. It, it bloody does. It bloody does. I mean, hell, that, you know, that Le Mans that we won was uh, 2019. Five years ago this summer, eh? But yeah, they did okay. They did okay, um, uh, Salty Golf. I think the maybe the strategy stuff needs a little look. Because like the one stop was 100% the only way to go in that one. Um, but then, say, that P2's not got a rear wing! <laughs> Nearly didn't have a life. Look at him, slow and down, 
Oh god. Oh, oh, 7 ninth foe coming in with that prime subscription. First time sub. Thank you very much. Welcome to the boiler room. Welcome. It's much appreciated. And that bit of that Bezos Prime cash. Conway died. Oh, I wonder if he pitted. Because the Peugeot has disappeared as well. Thank you. Very much. It's always much appreciated. Oh, Rhett. <laughs> hey, Rhett. Oh, God, give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, I think they've pitted again. Yeah, the strategy is a little funky. I'd say that's been fairly consistent, like, two-stop, one-stop races. Which, whilst potentially intriguing, the one-stop is, like, it's the only way to go. <laughs> no. Rhett coming in as well for that 16-month resub using the more glorious Bezos Prime. Thank you, Rhett. Back to the boiler room, sir. Oh, get in! See you, Flow City. Enjoy that chicken. Oh, the chicken tastes good, honestly. It really does. I got some leftover cottage pie later. I think. Oh, throw a few greens in there as well and try and be semi healthy. Oh, Jimmy Stream died again. This game not live stream. Well, the thing the thing is with the game is at the moment in my experience, um, I have to have the game unfocused with OBS, otherwise OBS goes up to ninety odd percent GPU usage, which is slightly problematic. But no. So I don't know if Jimmy's experiencing a similar thing. Because um, if he is, then that, yeah, that blows. But he's obviously trying to stream... Um, he's trying to stream, obviously, on YouTube and on Twitch as well. Um, which will be eating up even more. He's on a 3090 for crying out loud. Like... His PC is cursed. I mean, there is also that. There is also that. I don't know what it is with that man and his, his buddy hardware. I really don't. He, he he has some. And I do. I, I, the game also has issues, like. But Jimmy has had an inordinate amount of weird hardware and/or software things going on in other stuff as well for a long time. I don't know what he does. I really don't know what he does. <laughs> oh. Mostly admin errors, <laughs> probably. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know obviously what's going on at the moment. I, I assume it's just OBS's. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to try to throw a virus off him. Maybe. I'm trying to remember how name to say it. When I last updated my bio, so I'm not sure. Easy say. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's fine. Forms is a bit ropey here, though. Where was he? What uh, what track was he trying to drive? Was he at Le Mans again by any chance? Because Le Mans is definitely... I mean, well, I've only driven Sebring in Le Mans. Le Mans is hungry. He's Spa, okay. Alright. I'll have to give Spa a go at some point and see how that is for me as well. But Le Mans is a hungry beast. This is a mistake. Yep. Yeah. I 
I think of the sim, I'm really enjoying driving it. I'm, I've really enjoyed mostly the the racing with the AI as well. I mean, the, the AI has been a little, little more ropey here with some incidents I've seen than it was at Sebring. Sebring, it was really good. It's been a little more off colour here. Which is, I was going to say, another thing with the Steam reviews earlier when we were going through them. Well, the AI might just, it might depend on where you drive right now. Might be that some circuits are better, some circuits are worse. Which is also why you don't jump to conclusions and tar everything with the same brush, like whether it's, oh look, this AI is the best ever. Or this AI is the worst ever, based off of one experience. You've got to give it time. Uh, show invalid lap times. RF2 used to not show. I don't know, Joseph, actually, because I don't think I've invalidated one today. Not in the races, anyway. Um, man, the Felix de Costa is five and a half seconds back. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are hot into that chicane. I don't know if you saw that, the LMP2 in the mirror there. I never drive in battle of laps while that. <laughs> Whoa. There's, there's a difference between invalid and bad. <laughs> My mistakes end up, usually end up being so bad, I don't gain any advantage from them. So. Eduardo is not going for me now, not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh dear. Well, that does get me thinking, honestly. Like, it's a neat, like, little immersion thing. It would be neat to have him, like, have the race director come over the... You know, use real recordings of him if you can, if you're allowed to, if you can get, you know, licensing for that. Oh. Yeah. Um... For things like race start, race ends yellow flags, that, that sort of stuff. Penalties. That would be kind of neat, though, as a little immersion thing going forwards. Are you supposed to be in the game? Okay, this will be the same for notification. Oh, God, yeah. Forgot about that. Oh. No, he's not in... I've not... Well, I've certainly not heard him. Anyway. I was waiting for an hour. What happened after lap three? Um, mostly me leading. Oh no, I refocused on the game. That was stupid. Um, mostly me leading. Uh, had a little scrap with Conway after the pit stops. Actually, he was really close after the pit stop. Um, had a really good scrap. Then he killed himself on an LMP2 here, or just through the left hand back there. And we're sort of um just trying to survive to the end because there's it's been quite messy the last 15 minutes or so about to go on the far to the last lap now oh god ugh the frame it, not even so much the frame rate it's just stuttery not stuttery really inconsistent and now it's 60 okay You know what I'm liking? The lights on the steering wheel. Maybe a little bit bloomy, but I'm quite liking the effect. Real time sunset at the moment. Um, I think it's on 5x. At the moment. How is it done on this game? Like, I race against slow than ACC, is it a penalty after so many off tracks? Uh, this one has a. I don't know if you've driven RF2. You know, I can probably demonstrate it, to be honest. Like, if I do this, you'll get that'll pop up. I'm wondering what that'll give you. And that'll give me, like, you get five points. Um. Yeah, and depending on the severity of the cut, 
it'll give you a certain amount of points for it. So it gave me 0.75 for that out of 5 points in total. Yeah, I think it worked quite well in RF2 from my little experience of it online anyway. Um, yeah, rain. Yeah, for sure. Which is nice as well. I like that. Yeah, on a, honestly, Ben, like the, the day-night transitions in R Factor 2 have, have always been... Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, they've always been pretty good. Then they've only got better as the graphics engine got updated. Yeah, Halcyon's it. Yeah, it's it's a little bit inconsistent. I've been between 35 and 60 for the last 25 minutes or so. It's been worse since I think all the lights have come on around the track. Like it's obviously asking for more from the GPU. Yeah, Studio 397. Studio 397 who took over RF2. Um, it's usually like, the, I, again, the engine is, is very much. Certainly, RF2 was the base for sure. I mean, there's much doubt about that. On your toes in these things, like that was tiny. But the way the mass moved around, that was nasty. Oh, the way the weight started shifting on that, like a little slide. It, mm. Yes, <laughs> we survived. And that's it. There you go. Oh, I don't like that. I'll be honest, I don't like the way that ends. Uh, same physics engine, well, upgra upgraded physics engine, I'd say, um, foe. Um, it's, I, I think I think it drives really well. It feels really quite detailed to me. Um, is there a way to set, to set the ERS to build mode, or is it stuck at full send in the 1.0 release? Um, I mean, one, I don't know what version it is, the game, but um, you can... Uh, da, 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 words you can turn the hybrid off completely yes i can i can give you a little demonstration in a moment um so yeah where'd they end up so the porsche's where'd conway end up conway way down here christ like the gap see this is it's annoying <laughs> 